Today, we are here to talk about hair restoration, surgeries, and especially a few techniques. But before, I would like to introduce you Dr. Kayhan Şahinoğlu and Dr. Tarkan Ozoğlu for opening and welcoming speech. Welcome to the ISHRS uh, FU Cadaver Hands-On Life Surgery Istanbul Workshop. We hope you all have a wonderful learning and training experience in these two days. Uh, I would like to speak Turkish because I want to explain all of you why we organize this kind of the, uh, workshop. Bu uygulamalarının dünyada yüksek talep görmesi ancak bu talebi karşılayacak yeterli sayıda kuya doktoru olmaması bu nedenle de Black Market olarak adlandırılan teknisyen cerrahisi veya çeşitli robot sistemleri üzerinden teknisyenlerin kuya yaptığı kliniklerin her geçen gün çoğalması kuya öncüler olarak bizi böyle bir eğitim programı hazırlamaya yöneltti. I would like to talk about uh, anatomy uh, and first embryology. I know this is the most boring subject but I will try to and make it simple. I decided to start by trying to define what hair transplantation or hair restoration surgery is. I actually have no disclosures, just I uh, have conflicts of interest with those who create ugly hairlines. The hairline is actually the, the largest horizontal, the same is about women, they seem to have Similar hairlines, but they don't. Horizontal. I would like to talk about the all the instruments that we can use uh, for do FUE. Uh, so. What constitutes donor capacity? I mean, you saw some patients up here that we looked at the back of the scalp, and some were good, and some from the back didn't look so great. Constantly, if you see the picture on the on the left, uh, you can see how the hair, the natural hair, spreads. Unfortunately, we shouldn't do that because you will not cover the patient adequately if you do it exactly as it is in nature. During the position, the artist it's reading the little part black. Okay, so my topic is um, FUT versus FUE, the most violent topic of all. Evidence-based urine guideline for diagnostic evaluation and treatment of androgenic alopecia recently became available. Uh, whenever I mention Dr. U Graft or Dr. U Punch, I, I have a conflict of interest there because I have patents and commercial interest in those technologies. Um, Post-operative care, that's the, the topic I have today. So this is extremely important. Um, you can do a, a fine surgery, but if you don't take care of the patients afterwards, you're, you're, you may compromise the results. Regenerative therapies, one is PRP, everybody knows the PRP and talk about more. CRP, Regenera and the cloning of the follicles. So probably everybody of you knows about the ISHRS, which is a non-profit uh, medical association with more than 1,000 members throughout approximately 80 countries at the moment. Mm -hmm. 